Hi, everybody. Here we are again for another song uh, that we're doing in class. This week, um, we're doing a song that was made popular by the Tokens um, in 1961 in the US, but it's actually um, a South African song originally. It was called Umbebe, and um, we know it as The Lion Sleeps Tonight. Many of us probably saw it in The Lion King. Um, but Umbebe actually means lion in South African. Um, and so the composer wrote this uh, piece in the 1920s. And uh, in the background, you hear him going, Mbabe, 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 Mbabe. And then we know there's other parts to it. Um, like I said, the Tokens recorded it, um, and it was a Billboard number one hit. I think it was their only hit, so they're kind of one hit wonders. Um, and they called it The Lion Sleeps Tonight. So check that out if you ever get a chance. And um, we're using repeated rhythmic ideas um, that layer on top of each other. And the word for that is ostinato. And the plural of that is ostinati. So we're doing that and we're doing boom whackers this week with it. Um, so we used boom whackers and I'm gonna show you how we did it. If you have a keyboard, like a piano keyboard or something at your house, you could color code it the way our boom whackers are color coded um, to do some of this work at home. Um, or you can use your, your keyboard on your, your Chromebook Definitely check out that Google Chrome uh, or the Chrome Music Lab. I think I put a link up for that in Schoology um, because you can do some of this work in there. Um, you don't have to hand anything in yet. It's just for you to um, peruse and get familiar with. All right. So if with the boom whackers, oh, we can't see B because my head is covering it, but you got, oh, wait, can I move myself? I don't think so. I'm just trying to move myself. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Let's put, put me there. So um, we have, in our musical alphabet, we only have seven notes, um, seven pitches, and they repeat over and over again. So they color-coded them. Uh, so C is the biggest one there. You can see it, D, E, F, G, A, and B. So take a look at that. And then what we did is we made three groups. And it's not like each one evenly gets in one group. Some of them are overlapped. So you'll see on this next page here. So group one, let me move my head again. Group one uses C, E, and G, or red, yellow, and dark green. And so you'll do that um, for part of the song. Group two is C, F, and A, or F, A, C, however you want to see it. And then group three uses four notes, D, F, G, and B. So you'll notice G is in two groups, F is in two groups, and C is in two groups. And then on the next page here, um, I'm going to play it for you. So um, I'm going to do it on ukulele because, again, if you have ukulele, you could do this. So this is um, the three notes for group one, which you see at the top line there. So we have one, two, three, four, and then we go to group two. One, two, three, four, and then we go to group one. One, two, three, four, and then group three. And then the way the song rhythmically goes, so oh, let's see if this works. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. All right, so that's how that goes. And then what I'm going to do is actually play the whole thing there. All right, with the four, the, the four lines and the three groups, it goes group one, group two, group one, group three. Here we go. So hopefully you can do that at home. Thank you guys for watching.